Hello guys, this will be a video of the easy conversions I did to the Dark Imperium Poxwalkers. At the back are where they are like you would build them normally, and maybe some few changes. And at the front of their respective models are their counterpart. So you gotta go from left to right. So here in my left hand, as you can probably see, this is how you would build him normally. It would be one of these guys, you know. You can see the difference I did. I removed his metal arm and his tentacle right there. Gave him a tentacle from one of these other guys. Because that's a lot of things. When I removed parts from them, I kept them to maybe use on different guys. Because even his leg, you see, I removed his leg. And I added that thing. So this guy has big fucking discre discrepancies. I mean, even his hand right here. This is a Kadachan hand. Or maybe a Kadian. I think that's a Kadian, yeah. Kadian command sprue, I think. Maybe. No, or maybe it's a tank, com uh, tank commander. Something like that. And also a head swap. Boom. Easy. Well, this maybe not this, maybe not be super easy, but it works. Here are the other ones. This is how you would build them. The only difference is that this would be straight instead of crooked. And this is what I did with him. You know, I put on a kitten helmet that doesn't fit very well. You know, it's a bit crooked, it's a bit off. And yeah, this was actually pretty hard to do because of the, how the face is. I had to cut off his face is like flat almost, and I had to drill, drill into the helmet and just clean up. And then I also removed. You could probably maybe see that faintly. I removed those things right there. This is just the first coat, those things will be hidden out of several coats of things. Yeah, yeah, this, but this is the difference between them. Uh, I might remove that like that, so it looks like he just has a club. Maybe remove the handle as well. Maybe, but probably not. Next ones. Here we go. You could probably see I've removed the fucking spikes and I gave him a new weapon. Here from the top, like that. So yeah, I mean, I think that looks pretty good. I prefer them without all these spikes and all that. I think they look better without it. A few spikes here and there would have been nice, but there's too, mu too much. Alright. And here we see something that I'm pretty happy with with myself of. Because I think this guy might have had... Yeah, he probably had like a spike coming out of his head right there. I think I did not like it, so I cut it off. I drilled into him, and then I picked one of these mortar things. And one of these mortar things crashed into his skull, but it didn't detonate. So it was a dud. So now it's stuck there. And, uh, yeah, here's his weapon. They are holding it, and that's the only difference on him. This guy, however, removed the side blade. This tentacle thingy. I cut off the gas mask and put it on his face. And I exchanged the weapon. So what I did was, I cut it off like that, then I drilled through his arm to make sure that I would save this part right here. So it looks like he's just using a sword in now. So that's good. That's a good one. Let's see. This right here. Well, they have a head swap, but not only that, I removed some of the things. The spikes. From this guy, 
I gave him a clothing foot from one of the scientists. So I think one of the scientists and this guy changed feet. And he got a hammer, which is from this guy. You know, it was norm it was originally on this guy. I gave it to him. So if it will focus, there we go. Something very simple. And I am working on, you know, his skin. I think it's looking pretty good so far. It's just a thin down Nurgle's rot on white. Let it rest or let it dry. And then Reclan Flesh Shade. I think I'm gonna do less purple and red than I did on, you know, the ones that are actually finished painting. I mean, I'm gonna try to do all different type of skin tones and all that on them. So they will be very different. And here we have the scientist guy, as you can see. He doesn't have a cloven hoof, he has a regular foot. Then I try to do the bake powder and super glue trick to, to you know, bridge a gap. Because there was a little gap between the feet there. Didn't go super well, but I'll cover that up with no gold rot and filth. Sybil, weapon swap. He has a different hand. He has a spike from another one of these pox walkers, and I removed the spike on his head. There we go. These guys. Yeah, I showed this guy off in a previous video. I removed his head thing. I had to smooth it out a bit, a bit right here. I gave him a knife from the Cadians or maybe the Catechins. Go Catechins. And then I gave him a last gun in his hand right there that he's gonna use to fucking club someone in the head with. Uh, these guys. This guy was originally supposed to be the one where I, the difference was he did not have this protrusion. These things didn't go out super much. But eh, didn't go that well. And I'm not uh, super happy with his paint job and all that, but uh, he's okay. So and here his brother or his twin. He has a club, or a sledgehammer I should say, a sledgehammer, and this is from uh, the Empire Knights from Warhammer Fantasy Battles, but if I hold it like that, do you see the problem? Not that it bent, it, it being bent, that's fine. That little peg right there, the fact that I have to remove that little peg, because for me, that peg makes it look like this hammer should be 90 degrees this way, you know, that it should face like that, instead of how I did it. Oh, my neck and my arm. And here are these two lads. As you can see, the only difference is that I've removed all the spikes, and that's it. Not much on this guy. I might remove the Nurgle symbol on his gun, something like that. But on that, I'm happy with these guys. You know, but yeah, I also removed his um, gas mask to reveal his chest a bit more. Ooh. And then these guys. From this angle, Maybe not much, it may, might look that I only removed the spikes. But not, not the only thing, I also removed his this tank back here that goes straight into his skull. You know, to his, well I guess, his suit or whatever. I removed that and I removed the whole thing. And 
Yeah. You know, I'm gonna fix that up, do blood effects and all that. I might switch out his weapons so they have different weapons, but... Eh. Some similarities isn't really a big problem for me. So yeah, that was these guys. Oh god, are you trying to get away from me? I mean, oh, it's not this guy. There's one of these guys that I'm quite happy with, with his loincloth. Let's see. Where are you hiding the one that I was... This guy right here. I'm quite happy with... Well... This looks like, like a blacksmith's... Thingy. But I'm gonna call it a loincloth, you know, because that's what it's being used as right now. I'm quite happy with how it looks. And this orange is also very nice, so... Yeah, simple paint jobs give decent results.